Hey guys, Matt from soundrolling.com and I'm here with the OR27 uh, for the Zoom by Orca. So I just take you through it. Uh, Gianni over here, let me in. What a legend. Um, so, let me take you through all the parts. Okay, so we obviously have the Zoom and the Zoom's fitting in nice and snug. There's actually ties down here to keep the unit secure so it doesn't wobble around. Uh, so those are optional on each side and it's quite useful actually because they're little clips they're not uh, kind of crossing over the unit uh, in any way as well uh, found that when we were putting in the XLRs it's it's a bit close with the XLR to actually the top of the bag uh, but there's a little trick at the back because uh, around here there is a spot for obviously getting access to time code and you can actually fit the whole unit slightly out of the bag um, which again, it's going to be very hard for the whole unit to fall through, hopefully, especially if anything's plugged in. Um, but yeah, you can get a little extra room out of there. Then, if I fiddle with it to get it back in. Uh, then we have the classic uh, orca, what's called like a honeycomb structure. So basically here, 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 and then down and all around the bottom is uh, aluminium uh, kind of steel rods. So it's really good for traveling, very hard. And then we're gonna have pockets at the back, which is probably gonna be used for your power. See there, we've got a switch in there. And that also helps with the, where the bag sits on your body, because then you get this little room to get the mixer away from your body, which is always, I find quite useful for placement. Then at the front, uh, we have space for radio mics. Uh, here and here, we just had a, a D-Link just for a test, uh, just for some cable runs. And there's a little uh, kind of separate pack here where you can fit another couple of G3s. Bag overall, uh, it does feel a little bit tight, but I mean, compact can be very good, especially if you're kind of one-man banding. Um, fitting all eight units, like eight separate receivers, I mean, you'd have to do a bit of... Uh, bit of jigging around I think you can probably get one here one here clip one to the front one front one front one front but it's uh, yeah it's a bit crazy I, I suppose the idea is not to be doing one man band when you've got eight wireless on but you know those reality mixers do it so what do you know uh, in terms of the strapping of the top uh, you can see that it, it will get a bit tricky with the cables uh, just because uh, unless you have right angled cables it's gonna be a bit tricky to get your um, boom out of there. Uh, another place you could cable it to is out of the front with this little pocket but then I would advise obviously getting uh, right angle connectors because if you have all four sticking in um, and all four obviously on this side sticking in uh, then it's gonna be yeah gonna be a bit tight and again even here we're we're getting very close to um, just slightly pressing that a uh, headphone headphone mic in as well headphone headset in um, so overall I think it's uh, I think it's pretty good it's pretty tight uh, a few little things that I'm sure that they will improve on but uh, if you have any comments or questions let me know in the comments below if you like this video then give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more and I will see you later